materialists believe that matter and energy are the only reality and that they are unconscious. They also assume that the total amount of matter and energy is always the same. The constancy of the amount of matter and energy, the law of conservation of matter and energy, is taught in every school. Yet it turns out things aren't that simple. In the late 20th century, physicists discovered that galaxies didn't behave as they ought to according to the laws of gravitation. So they introduced an invisible substance to explain what normal physics couldn't explain, and they called it dark matter. They titrated in just enough dark matter to explain the structure of galaxies. But they ended up with more than five times more dark matter than regular matter. This extra matter in the universe should have caused its expansion to slow down as a result of all this extra gravitational mass. The universe should then stop expanding and begin to contract, finally ending in the opposite of the Big Bang, known as the Big Crunch. But then, around the year 2000, it turned out that instead of the expansion of the universe slowing down, the universe is expanding faster and faster as time goes on. Its expansion is accelerating. So physicists invented another form of energy, dark energy, to explain this, which, like dark matter, is invisible and otherwise undetectable. The equations of physics that are usually used to explain dark energy suggest the total amount per unit volume is the same. And since the volume of the universe increases as it expands, this means the total amount of dark energy should be increasing as well. The universe has become a perpetual motion machine. The total amount of dark matter and dark energy is now supposed to make up 95% of reality. So the questions I suggest you ask your materialist friends, colleagues or family members are these. First, do you think that dark matter is conserved? Is there always the same amount of dark matter or can it change into ordinary matter? Can there be less of it? Since we know almost nothing about dark matter, this is a real question and I don't know what your friends uh, will say in response to it. Most physicists would not know what to say in response. Second question. Can you accept that there may be a continuous creation of dark energy as the universe expands? That's what most physicists think, but if so, it means the universe is increasing its total amount of energy, which is what perpetual motion machines do, defying the law of conservation of matter and energy.